Hi, welcome to the next assembly video for the Ergodox. In the last video, we finished up the keys, or excuse me, the Cherry MX switches and for the right hand of the keyboard, and now it's time to install the Cherry MX switches for the left hand. So I'll grab the center piece of the case for the left hand and go ahead and start pressing these in. This one lines up a lot easier, by the way, um, since there aren't as many components at, at the top for it to fit around. Okay, that feels, feels great. just thought of perhaps an easier way to get these pressed in. I'm going to grab the bottom side of the case and rest this on top. And maybe I can just push all these in. I don't know. We'll see. Mm. I don't know if that'll work, but I'll just keep trying it anyway. Okay, and this one fits um, to the pin with the pins to the right side. So all of these are either going to be pins to the top or pins to the right. And there's only about four of them that actually go in that direction. Yeah, it looks like four of them. I'm gonna have to press some of these in a little bit more. I just wanna. Um, Take advantage of that bottom plate to get them all pressed in because this is pretty quick. And then um, I'll remove the bottom plate and get these pushed in a little better. Because this one didn't. Oh, there we go. Oh, nice. And this one's coming together a little bit better than the other one. for a couple of reasons. I might have cleaned this one up a little better, the actual plastic part. This one goes to the right. So I'm going to set my key to keyboard up for Dvorak, um, but when I get to the software phase of this, you will have the option to configure your keyboard however you want. So it's looking like the Cherry MX switches were a lot faster than the diodes. Because the diodes took me about an hour. I think most of the time was actually just lining up the, the diodes to get the cathode on the right side. These are a lot easier to line up. Okay, so these two um, are pointing that way. Almost done. Take off the bottom plate and then um, make sure I get all these pressed in. I'm going to heat up the soldering iron. I'm 
this board needs, still needs to be pressed down. Hmm. Oh, okay. Some of them were catching, so it was keeping it from pressing down. So you need to go through and just make sure that they all press all the way in. For the most part, it looks like that center, um, the larger center pin, seems to fit almost flush with the PCB or a little higher when it when they're pressed all the way in. Yeah, yeah, a little higher actually than flush. Do a visual inspection real quick. This one doesn't look lined up. Okay. All right, they look pretty good. Just make sure the PCB is flat. All right. Time to solder. Seven minutes. A little concerned about that one. I don't see the pin sticking up. <laughs> Hopefully, it's just shorter than it's supposed to be. I'll have to redo that one later. But hey, that is one benefit of this kind of keyboard, you know. If, uh, if it breaks, I know exactly how to fix it. You know, if it shorts out, just get a new teensy for it. If one of these keys goes bad, Take it out and put in a new one. I mean, this is the kind of keyboard that could literally last a very long time because I could make repairs to it. Key cap goes bad, just get a new key cap. So I think it's pretty cool.
Oh, there's another one that where the pin looked really short, but it was there actually. So maybe that other one's okay. Switch number two ten. That one was short too, but it was in there. Hmm. So it just happens sometimes. Looks like one more. We'll just go through and inspect them. Okay, those look good. Good. All right, I'm kind of getting excited here. Almost done. Yeah, those look good, I'd say. All right. Cool. Well, that is it for the soldering, unless I have to do a repair. So, all right. In the next video, I think it'll be time to actually sandwich these together and get all the keycaps installed. And then, um, and then I can move on to the software. And, and then testing. Actually, give this thing a try. So, all right, stick around. Thanks for watching.